I cannot fall asleep without fan noise. So that's probably all you can hear right now. But I'm actually so proud of myself that I didn't fall back asleep and just ruin this entire video. I went to bed at one in the morning. It's so early that I literally don't know what to do. I'm like, I have so much time ahead of me right now. Let's get this day started. Makeup is done. I have a nail appointment at 9 a.m. How do I manage to get up at 5 a.m. and still be running late? Somebody do the math for me, please, because I'm not understanding. I'm tired, but we made it. I was literally almost in there for an hour and a half. I am so obsessed with my nails though. I literally get the most like simple sort of nails I feel like, but my nail lady, she's a talker and she likes talking not just to me, but like her coworkers and the people around her. She's like such a bubbly, happy person. She'll like be doing my nails and at the same time she's like talking to everybody around her and then she'll like laugh and like she gets distracted. But she's the sweetest person ever and I love how she does my nails. But anyways, the nails are done. Even though I yawned like a million times in there, I feel really good. Like I feel like I'm good to go like I'm ready for my day it's 10 in the morning and what have I done today I woke up that's something I actually finished the book meet me by the lake I don't know what was up with me or with that book but that book took me over a week to even get through like a hundred pages I had like 150 pages left and I read all of that this morning so I finished that book I saw a lot of people say that they really didn't like that book and I can see why but I feel like because I read the ending in just one sitting and just one go I actually kind of enjoyed it like it wasn't the best book I've ever read but it was pretty good I also prioritized this morning doing some like stretching yoga situation because honestly on any regular day that is one of the things that I always say I don't have enough time for I want to give a really big thank you to Curology for sponsoring this video. So this is actually super, super exciting because Curology was one of the very first brands, if not the first brand I ever worked with on my YouTube channel like three years ago. I was very excited back then to work with them and now that I get to work with them once again, it's even more exciting. But if you didn't know, Curology is basically a subscription-based skincare company. From the first time I worked with them to now, they have created so many new products and they honestly have such a variety, but what they're really known for is their custom skincare treatments that are made specifically for you and your skin. This is my custom formula right here and this cute little bottle right here is what's been helping my skin tremendously. Not to say that my skin is perfect now but I've really noticed a difference. I was honestly just getting so sick and tired and frustrated even with my skin. I feel like we've all been through this multiple times in our lives but when you're having a bad skin day and when your skin is just not cooperating and just not looking the way you want it to look, it really just brings down my confidence, my self-esteem, my overall mood is really impacted with how I feel about my skin. So I actually went through the 
through the whole process of starting Curology again. So I can very much tell you how easy it really is to start your Curology journey. You fill out this super quick quiz that's just about you and your skin. The questions are just about what skin concerns you have and what skin goals you want. You upload makeup free photos of your skin from every angle and your quiz and your photos gets looked at by a licensed dermatology provider. And after that, your custom skincare formula gets delivered at your door. Also something about Curology that I really like is that they're aware that your skin and your skin goals are constantly changing. Like a skin concern that I may have right now, I may not have it in like six months. They make it incredibly easy for you to just message your dermatology provider about switching up your formula. If you guys keep hearing about Curology and you're curious to try it, all you have to do is pay $5 for shipping and handling. You guys click the link down below and that'll take you to filling out your quiz. Once again, thank you so, so much to Curology for sponsoring this video. It's so exciting to work with them once again. Let's get back to the video. I picked up the most gorgeous flowers I think I've ever gotten. I'm pretty sure I should know this because every time somebody asks me like, what's your favorite flower? My answer is always peonies. I love peonies, but I found these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous magenta, fuchsia, whatever this is. So just in case I never see them again, I got two little bouquets. Anyways, as you saw, I went to Trader Joe's. One of the things I had to take advantage with waking up early was coming to Trader Joe's because I knew it was gonna be a lot less hectic and crazy. And I was right, there was hardly any people in there. There's so much parking, there's actually room to breathe in there. I got some new stuff this time that I wanted to try out. As you saw, I got the peonies. I got two packets of my favorite seaweed chips and then i got some butter croissants it's like a little pack with two croissants in there i've never tried these but i'm hoping that they're good of course i had to get some avocados i also got this cereal i've never tried this before it's the maple pecan or pecan why am i struggling with english today the maple pecan clusters cereal my favorite cereal is the honey bunches of oats cereal not the almond ones i know everybody's obsessed with the almond ones i like the honey ones like just a simple honey ones those don't have pecans but i just got these because they looked good i had to get my mom her banana bread she's obsessed with this oh this is also something i've never tried before trader joe's has the blueberry muffins that i'm like absolutely obsessed with but i saw these these are the strawberry muffins they're gluten free strawberries are in season right now so i think these will be super good some french loaf bread some ham blueberries, pineapple probiotic juice shot, vanilla Greek yogurt, and then I just got two boxes of the organic jasmine rice. From right here, it looks perfect. Like, oh, cute little haul I just did. But, but the reality is not that pretty. We're gonna go to our next stop. In the spirit of trying to make today as productive as possible, I wanted to come get some work done at a coffee shop, but like I mentioned in my other vlog, the coffee shop that I really love going to is under construction or something like that. So the next best thing is Starbucks. So I'm getting a little coffee. I'm gonna sit down in the little patio and get some work done. I have my laptop, my headphones. Have a good one. Thank you. to do this thing where I count how many lip products I have in my car because this morning I couldn't find a single one. Here's two. Lip liner, Maybelline gloss. I've been looking for this one for like a week. Another lip liner, Summer Fridays lip balm, Laneige lip balm, Fenty plumper gloss, NYX gloss, another lip pencil, my Buxom gloss, and another Fenty gloss. All of these. Oh, and this is why I could not find a single one at my house this morning. A lot of you guys were asking in my reading for 24 hours vlog which lip gloss I put on at the beginning of that video and it was this guy right here. It's the Buxom Plumping Gloss and it's in shade Hot Toddy. 
I don't know about the plumping part, but the gloss itself and like the color, it's really, really nice. It's currently 1.30, so I was there for a little bit over an hour, but I get more done in an hour at a coffee shop than I do like three hours at home. I checked my emails, edited a video, and I also had time to fill out my Goodreads review for Meet Me by the Lake or Meet Me at the Lake. Okay, let's go home. It is currently 12.20. I am so exhausted right now. You guys have no idea. I took no naps today. I've been up since five in the morning, but I honestly feel really, really accomplished. I was super productive today. Would I do this again is the real question. And I honestly think that I would. One of the things though, is that I feel like 6 a.m. for me is the perfect time. If I'm waking up at 5 a.m. and it's like completely pitch black outside, I'm going back to sleep if I'm not like forced to be up. I showered, I washed my hair, I'm feeling super clean. I already had my cup of tea. I was with my family and we were talking for like four hours. I am ready for bed. I do really wanna start a new book tonight though, at least just to read like a chapter or something. And I'm between these two right here, Things We Had From The Light, which I've literally had for so long and I literally just haven't read it. The other one is The Sweet Spot, which I'm so excited to read. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, thank you to Curology for sponsoring this video. Also let me know, I did a reading challenge last week and now I did this sort of challenge. So let me know if there are any other challenges that maybe I should do. Not the coffee one though. I think there's a challenge where you don't drink coffee for a week. I'm not doing that. <laughs> there's no way. I mean, maybe one day, but not, not today. Mm -mm. I'm gonna read, go on my phone for a little bit and go to sleep because today was the longest day and I just want it to be over so I can wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed.